Hi guys and welcome to today's video where we're going to be talking about the problem with male leopard geckos. Now previously I've done a video addressing some of the issues females face so I think it's only fair I talk about the ones that males face and it's mainly one thing. So basically males have this V shape of dots and little holes above their cloaca and these are known as femoral pores. They aren't solely exclusive to males as some females can have a faint present of the V shape like Gizmo actually has so it can be difficult when you're trying to sex them because you think well there's a V shape there but they're not quite as defined as males have them but females can have them. Now, these pores do have a purpose. Basically, males will secrete a waxy substance from them, especially during breeding season, as they release pheromones to attract a mate. One issue that can occur, though, is these pores can become clogged. If the pores are severely clogged, the gecko can't remove the little waxy plugs and the owner hasn't removed them, then in some cases they can become swollen, sore and infected. Sorry, these photos are kind of gross, but you can see how it looks when it's really bad. And it isn't exclusive to leopard geckos. Most male reptiles, if not all, have these pores. And in some cases, the pores actually stretch all the way along their legs. And in some cases, as you can see, especially with bearded dragons, they can get pretty bad. Now, I've had Diego for many years. He's recently turned eight years old and I have actually never unclogged his paws. That might seem a little bit shocking since they look a little bit clogged here, but I have found over the years, he'll secrete his little waxy man juice. Wow, that's lovely put. It will harden a little bit and then um, after breeding season it sort of just disappears sometimes it can occur sort of after a shed but more often it occurs after he has been walking around rubbing himself and things you see if a gecko has correct humidity requirements paired with textures he can rub against like cork for example he can dislodge and remove these clogged pores himself now granted diego hasn't always had cork in his tank but a combination of various textures on his hides on the floor and substrate I could spray to raise the humidity a little bit. I guess it has helped over the years. I feel the problem could occur maybe a bit more in those kind of sterile, very unnatural setups where you're using paper towel and smooth plastic hides. Only because if you think about it, in, in the wild, they have everything they need. They have textures, they have a range of humidity, a range of temperatures, everything they need to thrive. A sterile tub is probably one of the more unnatural things to put them in and so this could occur a lot more. They have nothing to rub against or anything like that. Now, you may have to unclog that yourself but you can easily make some small changes such as adding a humid hide or adding in some cork because that can help. I've read rock, cork and slate in particular are good for this. Now in my video about creating an enriched environment for your leopard gecko, I did talk about the positives of supplying a range of textures for your gecko to explore. It also helps so much with shedding, but also it has an extra bonus for the males as they can sort of unclog themselves. Now, even though I'd never had to actually unclog Diego's paws before, I was unsure if these were technically classed as clogged because when you Google it, you seem to only really get extreme cases. So it's hard to really tell, is it clogged? Is it not? Like, as I said, Diego tends to go through a cycle where it looks a little bit clogged and he works out himself. But I thought for the purpose of this video, I'd follow a little guide and try it myself. So basically, you're meant to let your gecko soak in warm water for 10 to 15 minutes, obviously supervised, and the water shouldn't be too deep. Now, one thing I did notice is the water did not stay warm. So um, I take him out, gently rub the paws with a cotton bud, get him some fresh water, soak him again, and then continue with the cotton bud. Now, trying to unclog these isn't always easy because frankly they're in an awkward place and the gecko doesn't really like it. Uh, eventually Diego had had enough so I was like fair enough you can go back but I did take a photo to compare with the first photo and to me the paws look relaxed if that makes sense. I felt though like as soon as he went in the warm water it sort of brought them out a bit. So you know how they tell you to put a warm compress on like a spot or a cyst because it helps bring it out. I actually think that worked with 
the little paws so if you think you've got a similar thing with Diego like Diego has maybe just give your gecko a little warm bath and that might even help bring them out so I'm gonna let him work out the rest of it because honestly I think he does it every year anyway but yeah this little bath has actually made a really big difference so anyway, I hope this video has helped. I will leave links below to some helpful articles on unclogging pools. Just in case you feel you need it, just make sure you are careful. And if you think they are swollen or sore or possibly infected, please pop your gecko along to a reptile vet. If you haven't already, please subscribe and make sure you check out the new merch and get your discount code. I'll leave all the links below in the description. But thank you so much for watching, guys, and goodbye. I don't know how well you can tell in this video, but Ziggy's just there. I think she has a thing for Zig. <laughs>